I forgot what episode I'm on. <laughs> I mean, it's not surprising. Are you guys having a hard time remembering things? Welcome to March of 2020, where all of us are on lockdown, quarantines, hashtag social distancing, whatever you want to call it. And we barely know what day it is. I'm Mallory Marie, and we're going to talk about all things wellness. So before we get started today, I actually want to know an answer to a question, a question I'm going to ask you. You ready for it? How are you? And I want to know. So right now, before you even keep watching this video, push pause, go down to the comment section and tell me how you're doing. Because right now, the world is going through something that it has not gone through in a very long time. And none of us, even in our lifetimes. So I want to know, before we get started, how are you doing? I'm genuinely asking you, put it in the comments. I'll wait. How are you? Such a simple question, yet I feel it is the question that we should be asking right now again and again and again to our friends, to our family, to our neighbors, to ourselves. When was the last time that you took inventory of how you're feeling? Really checked in with yourself. Not too long ago, we were in a society that was thriving off of constant simulation and constant interaction and go, 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 be there, do that. And now all of a sudden it's like, skirt. it's come to a stop. But we've never been in a situation where the entire world is being grounded all at once for the sake of humanity to help it from stop spreading. But you have to wonder, what does that do for the brain? What does that do for the body? What does that do for the spirit? And that's what we're going to dive into today. Some of the most common behaviors that we've been having look a little something like this. Oh, help me, I'm bored. <laughs> And if one or all of those felt a little bit too familiar, don't worry about it. It's completely normal. In fact, today, I was just impressed to myself because I actually showered for you guys. Because the past seven days before today, this is what I look like. You can't say that you don't relate. So if you're sitting at home, feeling pretty bored, eating way too many snacks, and just can't seem to get off that damn couch, then this video is for you. We're gonna go over some ideas on what we can do with all this time that we've been gifted because it wasn't too long ago that we didn't have enough. And now it seems to be all that we have. So let's go get started. When it comes to these ideas that we're gonna be going over, I'm gonna break them down into three different categories. No, this isn't gonna all be about at-home workouts, even though we will be going over that. But we're gonna break it down into three different levels from level one, things that you can do while still being on your couch. Level two and level three are gonna progressively get a little bit more active. So let's start with level one. Now for your first activity in level one, I'm actually gonna be taking you guys to Paris, London, and San Diego. Wait, what? What? So more specifically, the Louvre, Buckingham Palace, and San Diego Sioux. You might be wondering how all three of these establishments are now offering free virtual tours online. So you could go kick it at the Louvre and check out some art exhibitions, or hang out at Buckingham Palace and kick it with the Queen. Or better yet, one of my personal favorites, go down to the San Diego Zoo and check out their adorable little animals. Pandas. Now, if museums aren't your thing and you're trying to actually get an option that reduces your screen time, then I'm going to bring you to option two. Option two is actually proven to reduce stress, reduce anxiety, and improve your focus. Sounds like a pretty good option for times like these. So what is it you might ask? It's coloring for adults. Check out my most recent development. I know, you're impressed. Option number three. So maybe not museums, maybe not coloring books, but what about just a good old fashioned book? Yeah, you know, you could be fiction, nonfiction. Is that true or not true? I have no idea. I always get them mixed up. But one of the books that I've been recently reading, my favorite author, Ryan Holiday, The Obstacle is the Way. Sounds like a fitting title for right now because Lord knows we are facing a lot of obstacles. What better way to pass your time than installing new software? Because frankly, that's how I see reading. It's really installing new ideas, new perspectives, new software into our noggins because Lord knows we can only take so much Netflix before it turns into mush. So before we graduate to level two, I want to talk about my last option with level one. Now, once again, these are activities that can be done from the comfort of our couch. Because let's be honest, that's probably where we're sitting right now. 
I know I am. So the last option is going to be online courses. Now, this is not a novel idea. This is not anything new. But what has been new is this giant surge of content that has now been flooding the internet since the outbreak of COVID-19. With all of us bound at our homes, a lot of these companies, a lot of these platforms are now releasing new content for you and me to enrich ourselves. Now, there's three different platforms that I want to talk about. The first one being Masterclass. Masterclass's platform is already known for taking the top dogs in so many different industries astronauts, doctors, actors, directors, writers, chefs, gambling, and they've created a space which allows these industry leaders to share their secrets with the audience. But one thing that they've been doing recently is actually hosting live webinars. So these are live question and answer forums that you can log into with these industry leaders right now. Now the second platform that's creating some amazing content for free touches near and dear to my heart because it has to do with the film and television industry. Yep, all you creatives, listen up. Sundance, I repeat, Sundance has launched a ton of free content for writing, directing, a whole bunch of classes on their website to allow you to sharpen your craft during this downtime and give you some insider scoops on all the different roles within the film and television industry. It's pretty dang cool. And for my third and final platform that I'm gonna talk about as far as getting some content and getting a new skill while we're stuck on our couches, it's Duolingo, D-U-O-L-I-N-G-O. It's an app that's completely for free that'll allow you to learn different languages, French, Spanish, German, you name it, they have it. And they provide you with like 10 to 15 minute lessons every single day. So if you've noticed that you've been shamefully scrolling down that Instagram for far too long, or if your Netflix just asked you, hey, are you still watching? Take that as a sign to pause, shift into a different mode and shoot, give Duolingo a shot. It's 10 minutes, 15 minutes. It's gonna get you talking and speaking a new language. So who knows, maybe we could all be fluent in Spanish by the end of this. So level one was all about the activities that we can do from the comfort of our own couch, right? So turn the Netflix off and start to use your brain in different ways, whether that's touring a museum that's in a completely different country, reading a book, coloring a book, preferably not the one that you're reading, or maybe just installing some new software into our noggins with some cool online courses that are being offered on so many different platforms. But now maybe you're feeling a little feisty. Maybe you're feeling a little spicy and you're like, you know what? I'm ready to adventure off of my couch. I'm feeling a song coming on. You're like Hercules saying, I have often dreamed of a far off place where a great warm welcome will be waiting for me in the kitchen because that's where you're going. That's right. You will be getting off the couch at some point to go where? The kitchen, right? Because we all need to eat. We but during this quarantine, we now have something that we typically don't have, and that's additional time. So as you make your way into the kitchen to nourish your bodies, try not to grab just whatever's easiest, whatever you first see. I mean, every now and then a snack, that's great. But with all this time, have fun. Experiment in the kitchen. Now, this is where I could totally tell you to, hey, go check out my Instagram for all these fun recipes. But I got to understand that not everybody likes to eat like me. No, Mallory, not everybody likes to eat a pound of kale a day. <laughs> But what I will do is share with you one of my favorite ways to find new recipes and inspirations for what to make in the kitchen. And it's simple. Google search, Instagram search, whatever tickles your fancy. If you're feeling like steak, go to Google and then type in steak dinner and voila, you've got a million different recipes. If you're a vegetarian, Google vegetarian soup, vegetarian breakfast ideas. Do anything that your heart desires. And I guarantee you, your internet will be flooded with options. I feel like another song is coming on, but like when you're cooking, make it an experience. Like you're the chef in Little Mermaid. Les poissons, les poissons, hello, les poissons. Or go ahead and put on some Frank Sinatra and get real swanky with it. Pour yourself a glass of wine, make it an experience, date yourself, romance yourself. Huh. So now let's say you're fed and you're still feeling pretty feisty and you're walking around your house. Look at you, congratulations, you're on your feet. Now I am a firm believer that your environment has such a strong influence on your energy. And typically we lived in a society where we were in and out of our homes, in and out of our bedrooms with barely a second to really take it in because we were constantly on the go. Now our home is literally all that we see. So what you wanna do is make sure that your environment inspires you, lifts you up, gives you energy. And so I've got one name for you, Marie Kondo. 
Marie Kondo is what they're calling an organization expert. She has literally made a living, an entire business based off of tidying up our houses to spark joy. So give her a Google search and she's gonna give you a ton of different ideas on how to change your house. And I know if you think about it right now, there's gotta be at least one spot or one drawer or one area of your house that you know that that has been cluttered for far too long. So take this extra time to give those neglected areas in your home a little love, a little sparkle, a little razzle dazzle, and see what it can do for you and for your energy. Because guess what? Our homes is gonna be our only environment for who knows how long. So it might as well be one that you're proud of. Now my final option for level two is gonna to cater to the social aspect of our lives that has dramatically decreased ever since the outbreak has happened. And this has to do with reaching out to friends and family. I know it might seem simple, but you have to understand compassion is medicine. And I want to bring you back to that very first question I asked all of you, how are you? So really think about it. When was the last time that you reached out to a friend, a family member and asked them how they were doing? Because it's going to help you just as much as it helps them. Now I'm going to tell you a story. My immediate family all lives in Washington state, mom, dad, brothers, sisters, all of them. And I hate to admit it, but I think I took it for granted. The fact that I knew if I ever really truly missed them so much that it hurt, I could just hop on a plane and I'd be there in three hours. But now that that's been taken away, I gotta say it's kind of hurting me because with all these lockdowns happening, there isn't really an end date in sight. I know they're saying two weeks, but it keeps getting pushed out. So the thought that I don't know when the next time I'm gonna see my family, it really started to sink in. So let me introduce you to an application that allowed that magic to happen and allowed me to connect to family both near and far. And it's called House Party. Have you heard about FaceTime, Skype, Facebook Messenger, video chatting, where you literally see the person while you're talking to them? Well, imagine that but with eight different screens. Yeah, that's right. You could fit up to eight different screens from anywhere in the world on this one application and you guys can all talk at the same time. And if that sounds overwhelming, you're right. It definitely can be, especially if you have a family like mine that's Hispanic and loud. But guess what? My heart has never been more full when I could see all of my family all on the same screen and we're all communicating just as if we're just hanging out in my mom's kitchen. Social distancing does not have to mean no socializing at all. In fact, it just means that we have to get a little bit more creative on how we keep and maintain those relationships. Be there for other people and ask them, how are you? It's you're gonna be helping them just as much as they're gonna be helping you. So we've made it to level three. We're off the couch, we're up and moving, we're ready to rock and roll. So I'm gonna talk about the one, you know what it is, at home workouts. Really Mel, are you gonna be talking about that like everybody else is on their feeds? Yes I am and I'll tell you why. Because on average before this lockdown, you could easily get five to 7,000 steps of walking just from doing your own job. But now that we're in our homes, that is severely cut. And so our bodies are used to moving a certain amount and now they are not, okay? So this is gonna be a little bit of a shock for the system, but we have to get our bodies moving to keep them healthy, to keep them functional. This is not about getting ripped abs and emerging out of this looking like you're about to be the next Marvel character. No, it's just about keeping your body mobile because our bodies are used to being in motion and now they are in a situation in an environment where that is severely dramatically cut. Now is the most amazing time to try different ways of moving your body and working out that maybe you've always been curious to, but just never wanted to go to the class. Now you can do it in the comfort of your living room, in the comfort of your home. The ways that I'm experimenting with different ways to move my body and work out is gonna be live streaming, YouTube live, and Instagram live. A lot of fitness companies are using these three different platforms to reach their audiences at their homes, which is where we're stuck right now, in order to give them content in different ways to move their bodies. I'll give you an example. Box and Burn is a famous boxing gym here in Los Angeles. And yeah. on YouTube, you search for Box and Burn. You'll go to their website where they're actually going to see a bunch of different videos that are going to have the title live. It's going to have a schedule of all the different classes that they are then going to stream from that platform for you. And on my first class, when you go to log in, you put your name in, which is great. And then, you know, they're getting started. You're doing the workout routine. All of a sudden, the instructor is like, all right, Mallory, keep it up. And I'm like, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> it's such a fun experience. And once again, it's also catering to that social aspect that we have been missing right now. If you guys have any questions at all about this, as far as what workout should I do? How do I find the schedules? How do I sign up for them? Please do not hesitate to message me. Message me on Instagram, message me in the comments below. 
I will, and I promise you, I will help you find a workout for you to try this week. That is how passionate I am about this at-home workout movement, and that is how confident I am that there is a class out there for you that you will enjoy. So please do not hesitate. If you have any questions about at-home workout routines, reach out to me. I'm your girl. I'll help you out. The second option for level three is going to be something that's going to bring us back to our elementary school days. Yeah, you know where I'm going with this. Recess. Playtime, guys. It is back. It is alive and well. Do something that sparks joy, whether that is dancing on your own in your room, checking yourself out in the mirror, or getting outside. Now is such a beautiful time to get outside. If your community allows you to take a walk around the neighborhood, please don't take that for granted. Get outside, sit in the sun, bask in the ambiance of nature, and just quiet your mind. I'm telling you, you'll feel a lot better. Finding a way right now to connect back to nature and ground yourself is so crucial, especially in a time of such uncertainty. So if you're feeling really overwhelmed or tired or lethargic, I challenge you, step out outside, sit in the sun, put the phone down, go for a walk. Nature will give you so much more clarity than anything that you could find on a screen. So you owe it to yourself. Which brings me to my final recommendation for this video. And this activity I hold near and dear to my heart because this activity has given me the space over the last two years to really transform as a person. And that is meditation. If you've tried it before, you can definitely relate to me. And if you haven't, you might have some questions. So I'm gonna give you three recommendations for three different platforms that you can use at your home that really cater to all different levels of meditation experience. The first one is Calm. The second one is Unplug. And then the third one is Simple Habit. But these are all three different applications that help you get started with meditation. Because right now, more than ever, a lot of us are feeling stressed. A lot of us are feeling scared. A lot of us are dealing with crippling anxiety. And meditation helped me with all three of those in the past. And they're helping me with it right now. It allows you to find that still small voice. It allows you to find stillness. It allows you to find peace in a time of such uncertainty. If you find yourself saying, I'm bored, I don't know what to do, or drowning in the negativity of the media and watching hours and hours of news, take a break for yourself, for your sanity. Watch this video, get inspired, try something new. And whatever you try, I wanna hear about it. Write it down in the comments, tell me which one you're gonna give it a shot. Or if anything, if there's one that I mentioned that you want me to go in a little bit more in depth, tell me, I'll make a video on it because Lord knows I got nothing but time. To everyone watching and everybody in the world, stay safe, be well, and make this time count. I'll see you next week. I know it's March. It's gotta be 1999. No, 2020? Yeah, that's right. We're all on lockdown. Who knows what day it is? Hello, it's me. I was wondering if after quarantine you'd like to meet a hard time remembering things or is that just me now Charles oh my gosh why can I not say that word okay <clears throat> but I'm telling you your focus needs to be at an all-time high because try not to color outside of these lines they're super super intricate designs and they get you your head out of the screens Okay, hello, 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 hello. Okay. From your couch, but they're, they're just. So these are activities that can done. So before we graduate onto level two, I'm going to. Because let's be honest, that's probably where we. Oh. to allow you to sharpen your craft and give you some insider tips for... <sighs> to allow you to sharpen your crafts and give you some insider tips as well as... <sighs> oh my God, I can't do it anymore. Use that as a sign to mix it up and take a break and go... <sighs> I'm ready to adventure off of my couch into the unknown. No, but during this quarantine, you know, it's something that we have that we normally don't have. <sighs> but I also understand that not everybody likes to eat for. Feel the sun on your face. Smell the warm air. Oh, gross. Gross. <sighs> You're following that person too close. <laughs> A lot of different fitness companies are currently using these platforms to connect themselves.